there. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. How many guys like spoken word? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. What the best kind of spoken word is? One that honors God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's, my, that's my plan for today. Amen. All right, this one here. You guys ever had uh, trust issues? Yes. Uh, all right. Yes. I'm, I'm not the only one, right? No. <laughs> we don't know what you're talking about. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Um, this this uh, poem is uh, dedicated to the Lord and what He's done in my life. Um, you know, it's funny. One time I even had uh, during um, some intense mentoring, there was a there was a battery of questions in the, in the artificial intelligence test. And it showed there I was very strong in compassion and mercy and things like that. Um, <laughs> but very low in trust issues. Um, and, and it was the truth. And that's why I, I went to seek that help. I wanted to pinpoint what I couldn't see. Um, and now that this area that the Lord healed in me, now I can stand really strong. Um, because if you don't have trust, you can have a real, real shaky walk. Amen. 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 So uh this one here is called Overcoming Trust Issues. Amen. Who doesn't want a miracle healing from trust issues? I constantly have to ask myself to see if my emotional reactions actually line up with reality. Consistent self-reflection is key, but you know what else? The enemy of my soul wants me to snare my thoughts with condemnation. Double-mindedness destroys peace and makes me unstable in all my ways. Therefore, I must confront all my fears and all my Goliaths so I can possess my promised land. Amen. Trust issues are the rotten fruit that stem from my childhood traumas and betrayals. All those painful, poisonous, discouraging words that I heard day after day. All those shame on you. You can't do nothing right. Your embarrassment to the family. They all took root and produced towering strongholds in my mind, and I built defensive walls on the inside of me, like an iron citadel to keep others from hurting me again. The only problem is those walls that I constructed are keeping you out too, God. My only way out of this mess is to put all my hope and faith in my Redeemer. Amen. Friend. Sometimes the Lord will allow you to feel deep pain. Sometimes the Lord will allow you to experience the shame. But you know, beloved, if you stay close to your loving dad and you are true to him, he will lift you up time and time again. Oh. Had no idea that you would allow those painful <clears throat> wilderness seasons to test my heart. See, I thought I was waiting on you, but you were really waiting on me. To shed that old skin, so easily offended and set off. You had to gut that victim mindset out of my soul. And then you strengthened me, just like you said you would, with mental and emotional fortitude. You checked to see if my faith was really made of. What would my faith was really made of? Would I forsake my Savior, the lover of my soul? Or would I put all my trust in you and see the salvation and the deliverance of the Lord? You were working on an inside job. And I'll tell you what, that process, the process is brutal, it's messy, and excruciating. But through the fiery test, you continue to purify your son to be a vessel of honor. You had to squeeze the anointing oil out this olive. <laughs> and I had to let that old, crusty, <laughs> ashy, <laughs> dried out wineskin die. And you gave me a new wineskin with new, fresh oil. You had to renew this mind. Because I got caught up in all those trust issues. And I had to crucify the curse of double-mindedness. Wow. God, do you love me? Do you love me not? Mm. Come on. You got me, God. Or God, are you going to abandon me this time? Come on. Now I can conf confidently say, although you slay me, I will trust you. Yeah. 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 See, 
asking for years. I tried offering my best works. You just were interested in one thing, my heart. You literally pulled me out the chaos, the darkness, and despondency. You made a way where there was no way, showing yourself to be the faithful one again and again. Truth is, I, I don't always understand your ways, nor do I understand your timing. But there's one thing I know. You never fail me yet, and you never will. Amen. I love my new freedom. I love what you did on the inside of me. I don't need to be perfect. I don't need to people please. I don't need to perform. You just want me. I understand that life is a balance of working to the best of my ability and surrendering all else to the master. I understand that fear has to borrow from my faith in order to manifest. When tsunami waves of anxiety attempt to take me under, I cling on to the rock that is higher than I. Your yoke, which is your law, is easy like Sunday morning. All you require me to do is listen and obey. Your burden is not heavy. Because you offer me the great exchange. My sufferings, my heaviness, my shame for your peace, yeah. your love, Amen. and your strength. Amen. Amen. You've established me in an unbreakable covenant. You've tattooed your word on my undivided heart. Amen. I choose to simply walk with you like Enoch. Come on. I also fervently aspire to do kingdom uh, for a kingdom life of authority and dominion. And doing great exploits in your holy name. You are the truth, the life, and the way, and you prove to take care of me every single day. Amen. You continue to win me over with your tender mercy and generous grace. Come on now. Hey. Lord, you are still a refuge for the oppressed, Amen. a shelter in times of trouble. And for those that know your name will put your, their trust in you. Yes. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Trust allows me to enter your intimacy. Trust allows me to enter your promises, your deliverance, your healing. Through faith, I understand. Trust enables me to receive power on high, wisdom and understanding. Faith gives me purpose for a man's faith steps are ordered of the Lord. I will always long for my quiet time in that secret place. Lord, help me never to become too busy, even if it's ministry, because I can't afford to be running around without any oil in my lamp. It's my responsibility to pursue your presence. I'm going to say that again. It's my responsibility to pursue your presence. I must stir up my holy hunger and refuse to be satisfied with anything else. Amen. I am so, so grateful for all you do. Yes, Lord. I am so in awe of who you are. Wow. Let me not only seek your hand, but continually, continuously be consumed with seeking your face. Always running into your royal, royal courts, boldly approaching your courts and your throne of grace. As I put my trust into action, I am healed as I go. Amen. Yeah. 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 Now I trust you. Hallelujah. So that you can trust me uh -huh. with kingdom yeah. blessings. Yeah. Yeah. I show you the hidden secret things of my heart. Uh -huh. And you generously show me the hidden and secret things in your word. Yeah. My posture for life is surrender because I trust you. I know I can count on this. God, you are faithful, and your faithfulness has called me out into an intimate relationship with your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Anointed One. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Wow. Praise God.